Hey everybody, welcome back to Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. Wheat whiskey. Wheat whiskey? All right, Ben, nothing on the bar. How are we supposed to do a review without a bottle? Well, we don't have a bottle of this, but we do have a sample courtesy of Jill over at Mediocre Whiskey Review. Please go like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Jill's channel. She does a great job. And, and her channel is not mediocre. No, it's a great channel. So this is Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey. It's from a distillery called Journeyman Distillery out of Three Oaks, Michigan. Wow. From what I understand, they're doing their own distillate, it sounds like. Okay. Michigan wheat. Grain to glass kind of thing? I think so, yeah. yeah. I, well, I don't know if they like grow, if they're like yeah. a farm or whatever, right. but okay. um, it's 100% wheat, so it's a wheat whiskey. Wheat whiskey. And it comes in at, let's see the proof here, 123.4 proof. Oh, wait a minute, they just did a one, two, three, four. That's like a made Oh, up. yeah, <laughs> I didn't even catch that. But this has been really, really um, getting a lot of attention on the, the world wide webs there. Wow. The nose is really nice. It looks fairly dark, actually. I don't know what the age is on this, but it, it's got a nice color to it. It's either well-aged or double-oaked or something, but they probably would have called that out. Yeah. But it looks really good. It smells great. It's, it smells very weedy. Yeah. Nice and sweet. It's almost it's like a light cinnamon toast. You think so? Very light cinnamon. Very, very light, but almost like there's, there's a... There's some sugar, though. Cane sugar. But there's something else. And it, there's a little bit of the vanilla and caramel kind of traditional notes. Mm -hmm. But... Well, let's get into the palate see what we find. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, that's definitely different than I was expecting. Really? Mm-hmm. This is exactly what I expected. No, just... It's similar to the nose, but kind of different than what I was expecting going into this review mm. of a wheat whiskey. This has a really nice, dark richness to it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it does, Greg. <laughs> um, it's really, I mean, I was expecting a lot at 100, at one, two, three, four proof. Mm. But there is a nice, um, it's a really dark oak. It's a oak toffee. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, the sweetness, but there's yeah. a nice darkness behind that, like a really good dark oak bite. There's a genuine amount of age that is. It certainly seems like it, yeah. yeah. So this has really, really great flavors. Mm -hmm. Getting a little bit of like grape pop rocks on the finish, which is a bit of an odd note. I don't get that very often. I can, I'm with you on that. Kind of a grape candy in general. Yeah, yeah, grape candy, I guess. Yeah, you know what? You're right. There is kind of a grapey sort of aftertaste it's an oaky aftertaste that is sort of an oaky afterbirth mm. what was that it has a um a little bit of density it's not the maybe the most dense whiskey i've ever had but it's a nice mm -hmm. quality experience like it's not just a watery type Man. liquid I really like this. This and, is great. Yeah. There is something on this that is coming across. It's a little crafty. Like, you know, craft bourbons kind of tend to have some, sometimes it's youth, sometimes it's kind of maybe a little grain forward, but in a wheater, I like that. And a wheat whiskey, I like that because I like the wheat grain flavor. Me too. This is one of those ones where that craft sort of note really complements what the whiskey is. And sometimes you get those where it just doesn't work yet. Maybe the whiskey's not ready yet. Mm -hmm. Release it at a lower proof or a younger age just to get product out. I, that's not what's happening here at all. So actually, now that I've had a couple sips, I'm getting a little bit of a burnt bread. Like if you if you burn bread or maybe rolls, it's a little bit of the crispy outer crust. Maybe that's where I was going with the cinnamon toast. There was a yeah. toast yeah. note to it. This is- this But is, with a sweetness and a little spice. This is Tony the Tiger, <laughs> this is great kind of are you not going to do the impression? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the impression. But um, yeah, this is really nice. Very impressive. I know nothing about the distillery. Um, <laughs> I think they're in an old like corset factory or something uh -huh. or a buggy factory. I don't know. I read something. but Those are two different things. But this is, I, from what I understand, and now I don't know if this is still the case now, but this is like available in Michigan. Now it's 
kind of popping off all over the whiskey tube. So I'm, I'm sure, and good for them, you know, the journeyman distillery, but yeah, maybe this is less available on the shelves now. I don't know, but um, the oldest boy goes to school in Michigan. So he's heading back there in a couple of weeks. So we might have to. You may have to and, wait. Don't, yeah, and he turns 21 next, two weeks from now. Delay the release of this video just so that there's <laughs> yeah, we might have to product like, on the shelves. Send a picture of the <laughs> bottle with him. Like yeah. wherever you see this, pick it up. And I, I don't know the price. I can try to look it up and put it on the screen. But I think from seeing other info about this bottle, it's a very reasonably priced okay. whiskey. I think. That's it's really impressive. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of like there's interesting quality. What it doesn't have is like a sledgehammer in your face kind of note. Like I do get some ethanol burn, but like the flavor is not overwhelming or overpowering. Yeah. It's nice and it works well. Like it's a nice yeah. mellow flavors that work well at the proof point. There are definitely other ones at 123.4 that would pack much more of like a bitter or the oak punch or yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, the other kind of like... The sometimes that bitter drink. oak with the alcohol gets to be a little overwhelming. Now, sometimes I particularly yeah. like that, yeah, actually. Yeah, sometimes but... it works well, but yeah. But I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. If it were available locally, I would definitely own a bottle. Yeah, for sure. I would pick that up. I think this is one of those ones where the proof is... You try to release this at 90 proof. Yeah. I don't yeah. know that it would work. I think you're right. With maybe the age that it is. Because mm -hmm. it, it comes across as a well-aged whiskey, and it certainly looks like it. But there are that, those kind of youthier grain notes. But with the higher proof, I think they complement each other great. Now, it could be wrong about that. It could be well-aged. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? But yeah, I think just everything that they chose to go down the route with the proof and the age and whatever. It works well. Fantastic job. Yep, yeah, for absolutely. sure. All right, well, this has been Corsets. Whips and whiskey. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> On the bourbon note, I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.